Good day, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 15th day of April, and it is Friday, and today's topic is titled, Our Family Tree Starts at Calvary, and that rhymes, amen, so uh, that we'll get into that here in a few minutes. But first, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray that he's your Lord and Savior today, and, uh, uh, if not, well, today is the day of salvation, and you can put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone, and he will wash away all your sin. Amen. All right, we're going to start with today's scripture song, which is from Isaiah forty nine thirteen. So press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. Isaiah forty nine thirteen. Sing, sing O heavens, heavens and, and be joyful, joyful O earth, and, and break forth, forth into singing, O mountains. mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Amen. <clears throat> Sing, O heaven, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath been and joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people, for the Lord hath comforted his people. Mercy upon his afflicted, mercy upon his afflicted. And said, Be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. Sing, O heaven, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. The Lord hath comforted his people, when the Lord hath comforted his people. And will have mercy upon his afflicted, and mercy upon his afflicted. Sing, sing, sing. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. All right, so we'll put that back to yesterday's and do those songs, uh, scripture songs, again towards the end of the broadcast. Now it's time to get into today's topic for April 15th, titled... Our family starts, or excuse me, our family tree starts at Calvary. And the passage is from Luke 23, 33. And it says, And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Luke 23, 33. And today's author is R.G. That would be the initials for Rick Gravely. And he's the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Rossville, Georgia. So let me read you this topic on Our Family Tree Starts at Calvary. Current technology and DNA analysis has sparked the interest of many to discover their family history. Family trees are now easier to obtain than they were two decades ago. He says, I recently read where one of the largest family trees discovered dated back five centuries. However, for the child of God, our family tree goes back even further. We can date our family history back 20 centuries to the tree of Calvary. That is, if you're saved and you're put into the family of uh, God, amen. But if you're not saved, well, your family tree goes all the way back to Adam and Eve. So just keep that in mind. All right, so continuing on, he says here, No matter if it's an Old Testament patriarch or a New Testament saint, Calvary is the starting point for all who are in the family of God. Amen. The verse before us reveals the place, the punishment, the prisoners, and the person of Calvary. It is at this tree that man is born again through the eye of faith, folk, are delivered from the old life and given life anew. We are not just given a new life, but we are given a new father, a new family, a new future, and a new friend. Hallelujah. Amen. The children of God are washed in the same blood and sealed by the same Holy Spirit. We don't have to search for our history, and there are no gaps in our family tree. We know exactly where we came from, and we know with joy where we are going. Amen. If you are wondering where it all began, then look to Calvary. Jesus, our Savior, has brought us all together at the cross. 
And that's if you're saved, that is. If you're not saved, well, you're uh, not part of the family of God and you need to get saved and be born again and trust Jesus as your Lord and Savior in order to be in the family of God. Amen. So if not, you're still lost and undone and, and part of the family of uh, Adam. And uh, so make sure you get that right today. Amen. <clears throat> All right. So that is the end of the Baptist bread topic. Praise the Lord. All right, so now I'll go ahead and get into the Boots on the Ground devotional. Amen. All right. So today's topic for Boots on the Ground, uh, Daily Devotionals for the Christian Soldier by Randy Wells, is titled, When the War is Over. And this takes place on April 15, 1450. And the passage is from 1 John 4.4. 4. It says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen for that. First John 4.4. 4. Alright, let's get here. Uh, read here what he wrote on this topic of when the war is over. The signature war of the Middle Ages was the conflict between France and England, known as the Hundred Years' War. The war began in 1337 with King Edward III of England laying claim to the French throne Throughout the long war, Europe saw military technology transform from mounted French knights to the English longbow to cannons. On 15 April 1450, the Battle of For Formigny, uh essentially ended the Hundred year Years' War. The French commander used cannons to mow down the dense pack of English longbow men because uh, the cannons ranges far outweighed the long, way longbows, the English archers were unable to return fire. Seizing the moment, a second French company attacked from the other direction and collapsed the English line, killing or capturing most of the English army. Uh, in the wake of the Hundred Years' War, France emerged as the master of its own territory with the creation of a modern army under Charles the... 7th, <clears throat> England, on the other hand, emerged physically and financially exhausted and less than two years later found herself embroiled in a series of civil wars known as the Wars of the Roses. Our enemy, Satan, has weapons that can overwhelm us Christians, and the world has more ways to beat us down. When we try to fight Satan and the world in our own strength, and even the flesh. The flesh is uh, always an enemy. Um, Satan, can't, Satan can't be everywhere, and the world can't always attack you, but this flesh can always attack you because it's with you wherever you go. <laughs> Yikes. <clears throat> All right, so continuing on, uh, he says here, when. Um, so again, our enemy Satan has weapons that can overwhelm us Christians, and the world has more ways to beat us down. When we try to fight Satan and the world in our own strength, the battle seems endless, and we often fall into temptations of the flesh. There are two things, however, that we should remember about this battle. First, God is greater than all of our enemies combined. Only he has the power to weaken and conquer them. He lives within us and has the and has the given and has given us his armor and his power to defend ourselves against these enemies. But we must use what he gives to win our battles, right? Second, the war is already won. Amen. Uh, sure, we might lose a battle or two when we try to fight in our own strength. But ultimately, the Lord wins the war. When eternity begins, Satan, the flesh, and the world will be destroyed. And we will live in eternal victory. Amen. Praise God for that. Hallelujah. All right, so let's make sure we remember that, that Jesus won, and we are victors, amen, and so uh, make sure that we're always winning those everyday, day-to-day um, -day battles, and not giving into the flesh, and not doing it in our own strength, but uh, doing it in the strength of the Lord, amen. <clears throat> All right, praise God, and that will bring us into uh, today's hymn, and so... I was looking this one up. It's uh, titled, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. And this is on page 277. And um, 
the next page. So it goes over. There's a uh, um, in this hymnal they put all the stanzas in here. So there's eleven all together for the whole entire hymn. So I'm going to do all eleven stanzas. Amen. And this was written by Charles Wesley, who lived from 1707 to 1788, and from Lyra uh, Davidica, who lived from 1708, and it doesn't give an end uh, date there, it just says 1708. And so his uh, the last name is D-A-V-I-D-I-C-A, -I Davidica. I think that's how you pronounce it, not sure. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Christ the Lord is risen today, alleluia. Sons of men and angels say, alleluia. Raise your joys and triumphs high, alleluia. Sing ye heavens and earth reply, Alleluia. Love's redeeming work is done. Alleluia. Fought the fight, the battle won. Alleluia. Lo, our sun's eclipses o'er. Alleluia. Lo, he sets in blood no more. Alleluia. Vain the stone, the watch, the seal. Alleluia. Christ has burst the gates of hell. Alleluia. Death in vain forbids his rise. Alleluia. Christ has opened paradise. Alleluia. Lives again our glorious King. Alleluia. Where, O oh, death, is now thy sting. Alleluia. Dying once, he all does save. Alleluia. Where thy victory, O grave. Alleluia. Sour, sore we now where Christ has led. Alleluia. Following our exalted head. Alleluia. Made like him, like him we rise. Alleluia. Ours the cross, the grave, the skies. Alleluia. What though once we perished all. Alleluia. Partners in our parents' fall. Alleluia. Second life we all receive. Alleluia. In our heavenly Adam live. Alleluia. Risen with him we upward move. Alleluia. Still we seek the things above. Alleluia. Still pursue and kiss the sun. Alleluia. Seated on his father's throne. Alleluia. Scarce on earth the thought bestow. Alleluia. Dead to all we live below. Alleluia. Heaven our aim and love abode. Alleluia. Hid our life with Christ in God. Alleluia. 
hid till Christ our life appear. Alleluia. Glorious in his members here. Alleluia. Joined to him we then shall shine. Alleluia. All immortal, all divine. Alleluia. Hail the Lord of heaven, earth and heaven. Alleluia. Praise to thee be, by both be given. Alleluia. Thee we greet the triumphant now. Alleluia. Hail the resurrection thou. Alleluia. King of glory, soul of bliss. Alleluia. Everlasting life is this. Alleluia. Thee to know, thy power to prove. Alleluia. Thus to sing and thus to love. Alleluia. Amen. Praise the Lord. Not sure if I had that tune entirely right there, but uh, praise God, it's a good hymn. Christ the Lord is risen today. Amen. <clears throat> and uh, so let me give you the references here. There's no story to this one, but uh, I'll give you the references here to all the stanzas. <clears throat> all right, so stanza one is Revelation 19, 1 through 6. And then Isaiah 43, 13. Stanza two, we have Ephesians 5, 52 through uh Okay, so I think that was a typo there. Um, it says f uh, five, I think that's supposed to be maybe 26 through 27, because we know there's no, uh, there's no, um, oh, maybe that's, okay, so it's Ephesians 5, 2 through 27, so that five there wasn't supposed to be there. All right, so that's uh, um, that one, then uh, Colossians two fifteen. And then Revelations one eighteen, and then stanza three we got Matthew twenty eight one through four, and Acts two thirty one, and then uh, Ephesians four eight through ten, and then stanza four we have Revelation two eight, and First Cor uh, Corinthians fifteen fifty five, and then let's see uh, Hebrews seven twenty five. And let's see here, uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 55. And then stanza 5, we got Colossians 1, 18. And Acts 5, 30 through 31. And then uh, 1 John 3, 1 through 3. And then 1 Corinthians 15, 49. And then stanza 6 is Romans 5, 12 through 14. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 22. And... Uh, 1 Corinthians 15.45, and then stanza 7 is Colossians 2.12, and Colossians 3.1, and then uh, Revelation 3.21, and then stanza 8 is Colossians 3.2-3, and Romans 8.10-23, and then stanza 9 is Colossians 3.3-4, and 1 Corinthians 15.53, stanza 10 is uh, Philippians, or yeah, Philippians 2, 10 through 11, and John eleven twenty five, and then stanza 11 is John 17, 3. Amen. So those are the references to each one of the stanzas there, or most of them. Amen. All right, so let's see here. Okay. All right, well, I'm not sure which one I'll do for tomorrow, but praise the Lord that Christ is risen today. Amen. <clears throat> And now I'll go ahead and sing the scripture songs before we wrap it up for today. So we'll go ahead and do yesterday's and then conclude with today's. All right. James 1, 12. Blessed, Blessed is, is the man, man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, 
he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Here we go. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love Him. Amen. All right, I'll conclude with today's. Isaiah 49, 13. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Here we go. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. The Lord hath comforted his people, for the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. The Lord hath comforted his people, for the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Sing, sing. Amen. All right, well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song for the 16th. And it will be from 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. And uh, praise the Lord for that. And uh, Brother James has been going through Second Corinthians, and he has done a few messages on um, the thoughts of the mind. I believe there's one that he has uh, titled The Battle for the Mind. Amen. And uh, you can check that out at www.jameswnox.org or the uh, YouTube channel by typing in James Knox sermons, praise the Lord, and uh, I think yesterday I had skipped over uh, uh, what was supposed to be today's scripture song and went to to what is tomorrow's scripture song, so this will actually be tomorrow's scripture song, which I apologize if I said it was today's, so, but this will actually be tomorrow's, Second Corinthians 10, 3 through 5, amen, so that's tomorrow's scripture song, and then tomorrow's Beth, uh, Baptist Bread topic is going to be titled uh it's all about the cross amen it sure is all about the cross and jesus and what he did on that cross for you and for me and the passage will be from galatians six fourteen. so that will be tomorrow's and then it looks like the author again is uh rick gravely so this might be a uh continuation from today's so amen all right so that's tomorrow's it's a all about the cross and then the boots on the ground devotional topic is titled a christian's uso and this event takes place on april 16th 1981 and the passage is from galatians 6 10 so amen all right and then i'm not sure which hymn i'll sing tomorrow um so i'll pick that out later or if you have a hymn you'd like to hear just let me know down in the comments section whether you're watching on facebook or youtube and I'll gladly uh, 
um, do that uh, hymn for you. Amen. And the Scripture Songs book and CDs are available on www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website. They are missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana. And pray for them and the work they're doing over there. And um, that they continue to get the gospel out and get people uh, to come to Jesus. And um, that people will uh, serve the Lord over there. And after they come to Jesus, they can uh, disciple them and uh, help them to be... Uh, bold Christians and uh, have a good walk with the Lord. Amen. And pray for all missionaries around the world that we support. Amen. So that's that. And then the Baptist Bread devotional booklet is uh, comes in a subscription and it's a box of 10 and you can get a subscription going right now and they come every other month. So if you order now, you'll get the ones from May and June and that is available online at www.baptistbread.com. Or you could probably still order them on the other website, which is www.timgreenministries.org. And there's other books available on that uh, site. And then the Boots on the Ground book, uh, this is a cover to it, and that's available to order. You can find that on the internet uh, or maybe at your local bookstore. And then finally, we've got the um, hymn book here, the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And that's available on melodypublications.com. And they are putting together a large print edition of that book. So if you like large print editions, then uh, you can order a copy. Uh, I think put your reservation in uh, today. So that's MelodyPublications.com. And if you want to hear, uh, um, if you want to hear the um, podcast I've been doing, where I've been reading different uh, um, heroes of the Christian faith, that's uh, God's Messenger Lighthouse podcast. And I've been going through different books on that podcast. Uh, podcast there so amen that's available on anchor or spotify or iHeartRadio. praise god all right well that'll be it for today so thanks for watching and may the lord richly bless you until next time bye for now